What have we learned today from the New York Times and from the taxes coming out? That there was no Russian secrets in Trump's financial records. Trump is not using the presidency to enrich himself. And why are why is the mainstream media, why are certain blue checks and other corrupt politicians using this to convince everyone that Trump did something bad with his taxes? He only paid $750 in taxes. Well, when you actually read the New York Times article, when you actually read what it says, you get a completely different answer than what everyone is reporting. Now, this is coming from Alexandria Brown, and this is what she wrote. So I finally read the New York Times Trump tax story because I wanted to see what line was being reported for taxes owed, and I came across this about the $750 in 2016 and 2017. Per the New York Times' own story, Trump actually paid to the U.S. Treasury $1 million in 2016 and $4.2 million in 2017. Read that closely. Trump paid, as in transfer to the U.S. Treasury, $1 million in 2016 and $4.2 million in 2017. Note also that most of the overpayment was rolled forward, not refunded. The $750 figure is an additional $750 Thus, every single story saying he paid $750 is a lie. It's not simply a lie. It proves that the person making the statement either did not read the story itself or lacked the mental ability to comprehend that the New York Times itself claims that Trump paid $1 million in 2016 and $4.2 in 2017. The claim that Trump paid only $750 in federal taxes in 2016-2017 is thus a complete and total lie which is easily disproven by the Times' own story. I mind when people lie. I mind more when people lie to me about something I can disprove in minutes. Also, there's something even more worrisome than that that the New York Times appears not to have seen the actual returns. Read this closely and you'll see something very disturbing indeed. So here's a portion of the New York Times. The Times examined and analyzed the data from thousands of individuals and business tax returns for 2000 through 2017, along with additional tax information from other years. The trove included years of employees' compensation, information, records of cash payment between the president and his businesses, as well as information about ongoing federal audits of his taxes. This article also draws upon dozens of interviews and previously unreported material from other sources, both public and confidential. So did you see? What happened here? What they're saying? The years of employee compensation. So the New York Times was giving compensation information for people who are not Trump. That's right. There sh- this should make everyone spit fire from their eyes. What the hell right does the New York Times have to employee compensation? Think about that for a second. So let's get this straight. Trump was wealthy before coming into the presidency during his presidency he's not taking a salary and his wealth is declining those who are democrat presidents they came in to the presidency not being wealthy and they left very wealthy during the presidency and after the presidency and all of this reminds me of post 3383 this is back Uh, July 8th, 2019. And it says, imagine what would happen if by law, every U.S. congressman, woman, U.S. senator, president, etc., was by U.S. law audited every one or two years by an independent agency. Imagine what would happen if those audits extended to all family members of such elected officials. Would D continue to push for foreign aid to other seas versus the homeland? What happens when the kickbacks dry up? Think about certain politicians that are in government. Maxine Waters, she has a $4 million house. Nancy Pelosi's net worth is $150 million. Joe Biden's son, brother, net worth tens of millions. Clinton family, $200 million. Pre-election, $1 million. Less than one minute, $1 million, actually. Obama family, $40 million. Pre-election, less than $1 million. Disguised under book deals, Think about this for a second. This entire time, they wanted his tax returns. This entire time, they've been fighting to get it. And finally, 
a prosecutor in New York got it and all of a sudden it was leaked to the New York Times. And you know what they found? Absolutely nothing. Did the New York Times and other individuals, did they use this to sway the elections? Is this election interference? Because there was nothing there. There was no Russian collusion. There was nothing wrong with his taxes. And the 750 is the additional amount they had to pay. That's all it was. There's nothing there. So why did they release this? What was this all about? What were they pushing? And why did they dig into other individuals' compensation? And we can see that this was used as a weapon by the deep state and they found nothing. The story has already been debunked. It's fake news once again.